this time, let's continue with our children's message. And uh, for those that are at home and for those that are here, uh, God's blessings to, to you this day. And it's great to see you all as we continue on today for your message. Now, you know, as you know, I was on vacation, so and I drove quite a bit there on my vacation, probably around 4,000 miles. Um, my check engine light came on, but we're back, so we're safe. Um, but the point is, <laughs> that's not the point. The point is, children, <laughs> is that, uh, uh, what's the point? The point is this, as I was driving on the road, you know, when you're driving on the road, you see what, kids? On the freeway, what do you see? You see many uh, things, right? You see, uh, for me as a driver, as your dad is driving, uh, what do you think your dad is always looking at? What do you think? He's probably looking at some type of road sign, right? Like, where are we going to exit? Where are we going to get off the road? Well, we're going to go three and a half miles and get off at, at Princeton Road, right? Um, or, or it says slow down because it's a construction zone, right? Sometimes when people are working on the freeway, they say, pump the brakes, pump the brakes, and uh, uh, there you slow down. So for you, quickly, I know this is not your uh, DMV class, but trust me, you might actually have to use this on your test. Uh, well, in the future, don't, don't rush it. Um, please don't rush it. Take your time. Enjoy. Enjoy your age. It's a great time to be you. Um, but when we see this sign right here, what does that mean? We usually see these signs at or near a school, right? It's a sign that says slow down because there are children, right? And when I was in Wyoming and Idaho and all those places up north, I saw this sign a lot. What does that mean? It means beware of deer, I think, right? Deer that are on the road. And then this next sign would be, the squiggly line would be, be careful because what you are heading to is a windy road. So slow down and be careful, right? Now, Peter in our gospel text says, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Kids, many of the people there that were listening to Jesus' words couldn't understand it, and therefore they said, no, I, I don't understand this, so I'm not going to Jesus anymore. I'm going to go the other way, right? And children, I know it's easy as you live in this world to go the other way, to go to all the other things in this world, to follow the signs of this world. But Peter shows us there, that there's only one place to go. And here on the cross, as Jesus died for our sins, that is where we stay. All in what Jesus has done for you. There is no other sign, no other road mark, nothing of this world that can give you what Jesus gives. And that is why we go. Because his blood shed for us gives us life in his name. There's nothing in this life that can give that to you. Not money, not your job, not your house, not all that you have, not even your own works as you give them to God. No, not even that. But there in our sin, we always go to what is tried and true. And that is our Lord who not only died, but who rose for each and every one of you. For there you know in faith, that you are children of God. That is who you are. And that is your go. That is where you stay time and time again, even you, Aaron, as you rest in the promise of Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Remember that this day. God has prepared a place for you. And that is where you go, covered by his blood. Let us pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you uh, for your promise Lord, by your faithfulness, you have died and rose and given us life in your name. Lord, your will is done, and by your will, you have saved us. Bless these children in the one true faith, and always grant them faith in only Christ. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Well, let us continue uh, with our sermon hymn.